Hi, Roger, Weathering Heights. This is the Velco Weather Hazards Heads Up uh, number five concerning wet snow loading that will be moving in during Sunday night and into the morning hours on Monday. Current and tested in conditions is that we have a fairly strong southerly flow right now across uh, the Champlain Valley. In fact, wind gusts are a little bit over 40 miles per hour. I'm not anticipating these winds to uh, increase from this point on, but we're very, very close to thresholds with a relatively tight pressure gradient and temperatures that are advecting into the region much warmer at the surface and aloft and uh, making a very problematical storm. I talked about yesterday uh, looking at uh, some of the markers here and we do indeed have precipitation forming across the Piedmont of the Carolinas and uh, indeed this was forecast very well by the European model. Uh, I would put most trust in the European model at this point and looking at some of the other computer modeling uh, it looks like the, um, the SREF or the SREF or short range ensemble forecast also is showing up very nicely. The GFS has come around uh, fairly close to what the European is showing and uh, we are definitely looking at a wet snow loading event especially in the elevated areas across Vermont. It's almost as if Vermont has its own private snowstorm with this particular setup as New Hampshire and parts of New York will not see near the amounts of snow nor the amount of this narrow band, uh, the narrow plume of subtropical moisture that is, has originated and working its way and gliding up into our neck of the woods for tonight and during the morning hours on Monday. This is a quick look at the Alberg wind gusts and uh, early past one o'clock this morning we've seen wind gusts uh, just a little bit over 40 miles per hour and looks like they're at their maximum as I'm anticipating an area of low pressure developing along the coast and this should shut these winds down to some degree but it may be a little bit down the road. And this is the uh, Storm Prediction Center National Weather Service uh, weather research forecast model. And uh, this is valid at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. And you can see that uh, we indeed do have precipitation. The model has picked up very much like the European advertised. And this is uh, the uh, transition of what will happen. We can see a broad southerly flow. We have this weather system working across and into Quebec. It's moving out of the region. So, but that uh, sets the table for warmer than normal temperatures aloft in its surface. And as the precipitation field begins to work north, this is the problem. And you can see pretty copious amounts of precip here. There's no doubt about that. Now, this uh, particular model has the main axis a little bit to the east, um, generally east of the Green Mountains. Not all are showing that. But this is the progression. And as we get into... Uh, basically 36 hours, that would be uh, into uh, Monday morning, Monday afternoon. This is the leftovers as the departing area of low pressure tracks off to the east. We'll look at a lot more. This is the Storm Prediction Center uh, short range ensemble forecast, the SREF model. And uh, again, it shows the plume developing and in into Vermont. This is the 5400 meter thickness line, this green line here. Anything to the left of that is cold enough to snow in general. Anything to the right warm enough to rain so you can see exactly how this is setting up and very very close to what the European has been showing with New Hampshire rain, Vermont snow and that goes right up the Connecticut River Valley. This is some pretty hefty QPF uh, uh, precipitation fields here so uh, this does echo what the European has been showing very nicely and indeed as we get into you're roughly talking about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning on Monday. The system is mostly done. A little bit of a wrap around in the back edge of the uh, de departing and intensifying area of low pressure will linger uh, some snow showers during the day on Monday. But the damage will have been done and will more than likely lock in with cold air. So what heavy wet snow does accumulate will more than likely affect all of our region for some time to come. And this is a uh, Penn State uh, uh, weather research forecast model, uh, four kilometer wharf model. And so you can see the progression here with the precipitation, uh, which has finally caught on to it. Uh, this is uh, the 06Z early morning run, and um, it wants to bring in a lot of rain, uh, too much warmer air. And I think it's, it might be um, a little bit of a warm bias. Uh, it's also, uh, Deep Thunder is also producing a warm bias. And the green here is showing all rain and a little bit of tippy top mountaintop snow 
is uh, a little suspect. I think it's actually going to rain on valley floors, mix with some wet snow, and then eventually will change over to wet snow during the evening hours. So there's some question, and of course this has ramifications on elevation and where that's going to change over and when that's going to change over. In this particular case, this particular model really uh, starts to bring us with some heavier snow um, across uh, very much like the European, but it's kind of late in the game. And so the question is, what falls, especially during the evening hours, when and where, and how much of accumulation? Uh, this particular setup here uh, increases the amounts of uh, snowfall, especially in northern Vermont as opposed to southern Vermont. And I think that's the, the line of uh, the way the National Weather Service is thinking right now with uh, more northern Vermont being affected by this heavy wet snow event than southern Vermont. Now this also wants to push everything out pretty quickly. I think there's going to be uh, some lingering effects, but uh, at least it's coming into line after uh, really missing the, the page here for many, many model runs in the last uh, really 48 hours. Here's total accumulated precipitation. You can see it developing off uh, the uh, Carolina Piedmont as uh, was targeted. Uh, not a lot of change. And then that moisture plume working across uh, the Hudson Valley up into uh, western New England and then into uh, up the spine of the Green Mountains for the most part with the uh, heaviest uh, precipitation totals here roughly along the spine of the Greens and maybe points east. Uh, some of that could be in the form of rain and then heavy wet snow probably in the elevated areas of uh, basically southern, southern Greens right up into uh, northern Vermont. We're drilling down a little bit. This is uh, total accumulated precipitation. This is valid uh, at uh, 7 o'clock uh, Monday morning, so the damage will have been done with this as this plume of moisture, very narrow, almost like our own private snowstorm across Vermont. Okay, this is a total snowfall, and you can see you're getting into uh, six inch amounts here along the spine of the greens. Pretty warm Connecticut River Valley, pretty warm western Vermont Champlain Valley. Uh, this is uh, six hours later, valid seven o'clock Sunday morning. The damage will have been done. And you can see the amounts of snow here, greater than six inch totals. So it's going to be elevation and primarily green mountains. This is uh, the next six hour panel. Additional snowfall on the back side as the storm wraps around will add a little bit more to parts of northern Vermont, Lamoille County, Orleans County, into parts of Washington County, narrowing that down the spine of the Green Mountains. That looks to be the worst. Okay, these are 925 millibar temperatures here. And uh, starting out uh, below freezing, uh, minus 2, uh, but uh, we're, we're going into a warming that's going to take place during the afternoon today, Sunday. And then as that area of low pressure tracks across the region, colder air swings in behind it and starts to cool lower uh, troposphere and uh, we're starting to see those colder temperatures and lock in that heavy wet snow. Again that's valid about 1 o'clock uh, Monday afternoon. Okay these are valid 1 o'clock today Sunday. Uh, these are high temperatures generally in the mid 30s it looks like. Now these temperatures are a little bit cooler than earlier but 38 at Rutland, 41 in the Champlain Valley you can see where the warmer temperatures are and uh, colder temperatures hanging back so surface temperatures a little bit cooler and, of course, that has an effect on us, but uh, by 0Z, we're talking 7 o'clock uh, tonight, 33 degrees at Morrisville, but 30, uh, what is that, 36 degrees and at St. Johnsbury, 35 in uh, Montpelier, 36 in Rutland, 37, 39 along the Connecticut River Valley. So this looks like probably some, some form of rain. I'm guessing rain, wet snow mix. Again, this is 7 o'clock this evening is... Precipitation just starts to get into the region. Let's take a look at that again. This is six hour precip, so it's uh, the main event has not yet arrived, but uh, we're setting the table. Here's the problem. Now this is a valid one o'clock in the morning. Temperatures have cooled and heavy wet snow loading is probably taking place. We're talking 32 degrees Rutland, 32 Barry Montpelier, same thing at uh, Morrisville Stowe Airport, 34 now in St. Johnsbury and also notably 32 degrees in the Champlain Valley hence we're going to see wet snow loading here as well. Now the next panel 
jump six hours later. That's uh, 7 o'clock on uh, Monday morning. We're 31 now in Rutland, 33 in Springfield, 33 at uh, West Lebanon, 33 St. John's Ferry, but 32 uh, Barry Montpelier, 31 Morrisville, and 33 degrees at uh, Burlington. Let's jump to the next panel. We cr begin to uh, to see the temperatures basically a little bit of a rise during the daytime on Monday, not much. And then we, which may kick off a little bit of snow, but then uh, as we get into the uh, later part of the afternoon on Monday, the damage will have been done. Precipitation will be uh, exiting out of the region, but colder temperatures work in and lock in what will have fallen. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights Consulting.